Okay, since I'm going to be working on a CRT monitor, it's important to know that CRTs can contain very high voltages. And when I say very high voltages, I mean voltages that could blow your arm off or defibrillate you. It's not funny. So the main thing to do is make sure you're safe when you work on these pieces of equipment. To make sure you're safe, you're gonna to have to discharge your monitor. How do you discharge the monitor? with a discharging tool. And I can show you how to make your own discharging tool right here. First of all, we need a big long cable and we need a bit of cable which is insulated. So what I've done is I've taken the top two bits of this cable, used the scissors and here I go. So I no longer require these, thank you very much. I'm left with this cable here. So um, you'll see that there are, this is a, grounded cable, there are actually uh, three cables inside and all I want is one of them uh, because I don't, yeah, and I have no use for the other two cables. So I'm just going to pick one of those cables and pair it back. The other two things you're going to need is a screwdriver which is well insulated and is of the flathead variety. Now this one is actually not a very good example and the reason for that being is because I've got the removable tip on this one. Ideally you want one which is not removable and is uh, metal all the way through until it's fully insulated at the end. Obviously this is rubber so hopefully there's no way that current can travel through here and onto my hand. Okay so yeah ideally don't get one with a uh, removable tip, get one which is metal all the way through. The other thing you will need to make this tool is electrical insulating tape. So, armed with those three things, I'm going to, have a, going to have a play with this blade to cut up the cable. Armed with those things, we are set ready to create the cable. Okay, so what you can see here is I've now cut open the cable and you can see the three pairs inside and I've just uh, stripped back this particular cable, the brown one in this case, and uh, I've used the end of this. So, once that's done, I can chop off these other two just so I don't get them confused at any other time. So that's basically the, that's it for the cable. A nice long insulated cable. This one's probably a good meter and a half in length. So that's that fine. What I need to do next is clear all this away and work with the screwdriver. I need to basically make sure that the screwdriver is completely covered by the, the cable so that any charge going to the screwdriver goes down the cable. And because this is actually one that's, uh, that's got this little end piece, I can't trust that that's making a connection all the way down into here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just wrap it around there. So this is why it's really important to actually have a screwdriver which is which is better, which is a proper screwdriver on one of these removable heads. All you need to do now is grab your tape and tape up the, uh, the wire onto the screwdriver. I know this may look a bit uh, primitive, but this will actually do the job just as well as any uh, tool that you could buy off the shelf. What you do want to make sure is that you've insulated this all the way down so there's no exposed pieces of wire anywhere. Just try and make sure that all the cable, as much as possible, is completely covered up and insulated. But at no time should you be touching the metal parts of the screwdriver. You must only ever touch it by the handle. Okay, that I would say looks pretty solid now. I don't think it's going anywhere. So that is how to create the tool, really simple like that. So what's going to happen is we're going to slide the end of the screwdriver into the anode and remove it from the monitor, whilst the other part of the screwdriver is on an earth rod.